post game with uh, head coach Ed Hoddle, and and I, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I know I talk a lot, but I'm not even sure where to start with this one. So let's take it stage by stage. Sure. You guys are trailing 17-7 midway through the second quarter. Looks like Widener is pretty much running up and down the field. What's going on in your mind at that time? Well, you know, I can hear the, the defensive staff making adjustments literally, you know, as we, um, you know, play by play. And, you know, I think that's that was – Part and parcel of what we saw today was the adjustments to the adjustments, and Coach Nelson and his staff, you know, just kept at it, and the kids kept executing, and you know, we were able to slow that offense down a little bit, um, you know, and, and make some plays, you know, getting turnovers. I think Ethan had an interception and a fumble recovery, and um, so defensively, that was, you know, that's kind of where my mind was, was you know, we were adjusting, and we knew the game was going to come to us a little bit. And so Stevenson gets a touchdown before the end of the half. Little John, a 17-yard touchdown reception. It's 17-14. Now you're into the third quarter, and then all of a sudden things just take a, a crazy turn, a couple of block punts, a, 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 a call on unsportsmanlike conduct on their coach, a fumble, an interception, two pass interference penalties in the end zone. Just crazy stuff starts happening. What are you thinking on the sideline? How do you keep it all together then? Well, I think it's just a matter of keeping perspective, you know, and, and our guys did a great job of staying in the moment, um, you know, trusting the discipline and technique and, and doing what we needed to do to make plays. And, um, you know, that, that exchange with the interference and – and with the interference penalties and the turnovers, you know, that was one of the strangest five minutes of football Absolutely. I think I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, but the block punt, we, you know, we, talk, we talked all week about, you know, generating big plays on teams. Um, we saw an opportunity and, and, and spent some time drilling, our, you know, our punt block group, and they went out and executed. Um, you know, so I think it was, it was a culmination of a lot of work and guys just, you know, staying locked in and, and playing with discipline. And then of all things, a safety basically was the difference in the game. Let's take us through that. Widener had a first and 10 from their own one. You guys had them backed up. What was the defensive call there to get that safety on the run? Well, I think it, you, you got to go back a play even prior. You know, Kevin hits a great punt. punt right. You know, you get a great snap from Eddie Minoni. And then, you know, then he makes the huge play, you know, down on the goal line, to, you know, to put them there. Um, and it was just a basic short yardage defense down there. And, you know, guys made plays and executed. And, and you know, to get that safety in that spot was huge. And then the kickoff return on the free kick, I, I don't know who made the block, but somebody made a great block at the 10-yard line, which sprang your guy, what, 60 yards downfield. Basically, you guys convert and make the field goal on that and the win on homecoming, no less. No less, you know, and, and I think we got caught up in a little bit of the homecoming hype, you know, early in the first half, and we talked about that at halftime and, you know, just letting the game come to us, worry about the details of playing football, not the details of homecoming, and the guys settled down. And, you know, again, it was you know, the return, Justin Rutowski and, um, you know, you know, there's too many guys uh, to name that went out and made plays. Um, you know, Mohammed with the big run, big run. Um, you know, chewing up clock there at the end. So, you know, again, there's lots of guys that contributed, and, and they're my fa favorite kind of wins when, when a lot of guys contribute a lot of big plays. Final thought here from 0 and 5 now to 2 and 5. You guys have obviously momentum. Uh, some, some things have changed. You've made some adjustments. What's your mindset right now with this team? Well, you know, we'll enjoy the win tonight. Um, you know, and, and be right back at it first thing tomorrow morning, and, and it's all about next week. You know, it's that, that's the nature of football, and you know, you've got to have eyes forward, not eyes back. And you know, it, it, it you know, come come early morning tomorrow, we're back at work. Well, congratulations on a huge win, a very exciting win. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yep. That'll do it from post game down here in the locker room.